also going to be important. Yeah, so, as trainers, we're really stuck in a tough situation. We're kind of stuck between the weight loss Fox News people and the weight loss MSNBC people. The MSNBC people think everyone's a victim and the Fox News people think everyone is just one good decision away from turning their life around, that it's all about willpower. And we know people's brain chemistry isn't the same. We know we live in a world where there's friggin' food in Home Depot, all right? right? So we understand on one part, we need a major society. Dude, Joey Chestnut's a national hero. Do you know what I mean? The guy who shoves all those hot dogs down his face at the, at the Nathan's, like, you know, so it, it, we get that. That's the, yeah, there's, there's so massive social pressures that not only enforce eating, but that, that seem to accept. And, and I'm, I'm going to go off one of my wacky rants. Let me just stop right there. Let's just say that we don't want to be the bros who constantly say, Troy, willpower. And we don't want to be the, you know, the, I don't know who I'd say this is, but like, the, oh, it's not your fault. It's not your responsibility. It's like, we're yeah. stuck in the middle by saying, all right, if you need a kick in the ass as trainers, we're going to give you a kick in the ass and say, Knock it off. Stop eating loaves of bread at two o'clock in the morning and trying to figure out why you're not losing weight. And at the same time, if you're someone who's in a tough situation, we've got to say, hey, look, these things are available to you. Go talk to your doctor. Right. And that's not even for us to call. I'm talking about society in general. As personal yeah. trainers, we have no business pre pre prescribing things like that to people. I'm just saying in general, we've got this weird polarization in everything where either it's you need willpower and you, 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 you can do it all yourself or you can't do it yourself. And, and the world owes you something. And it's like, as trainers, we understand it depends on the individual. Some of our clients need their asses kicked and some of our clients need a shoulder to cry on, right? Some people need Ozempic and some people need to get their friggin' act together. Mm -hmm. right? And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's more of that, but I think people want an either or answer and it just doesn't, it doesn't work out that way. Right. I think people need to be willing to take messy action for like lack of a better term. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You got to expound upon that. I know this is about my book, but this, I like, that could be your book, messy action. Go ahead. What is like, that? like you have to, there's not like going to be a black and white answer. Like even, even in your book, you talk about, okay, body weight times 10. And now you start and now you, now you have to figure out, okay, is this a calorie deficit for you? Mm -hmm. It's like, you have to start and then you have to figure it out as you go. Like, there's not going to be like, it's only willpower or it's only Ozempic. You have to take little steps and keep moving forward and learn again, learn as you go. So yeah, it's definitely a continuum. It's de definitely a spectrum, right? Um, you know, it's interesting. I, I watched this one guy as a comedian. He's, he's, he has, I guess they call it Asperger's, but I don't think you're allowed to call it Asperger's anymore because apparently Asperger was a terrible person or something. I don't know. But he's like somewhere on the autism spectrum. And he's a hilarious comedian. And you can definitely tell this guy isn't Rain Man, right? Right? So he functions very well. He doesn't make very good eye contact. But then you got other people on the autistic spectrum that, you know, have a hard time barely functioning in society. And, I, and, I, and you see that in a spectrum. So when you say someone's autistic, you really don't know where they, I mean, Einstein was autistic for crying out loud, apparently, right? And people say he's the smartest guy who ever existed. So somewhere in that spectrum, it's the same thing. We see these spectrums in so many things in our lives, right? We understand the need for freshman football, JV football, and varsity football. We understand their spectrums in terms of development and athletic ability, but we don't seem to understand their spectrums in terms of what people need to do in order to lose weight and what resources they need to make avail themselves to, right?